So today we're going to be installing DaVinci Resolve on Fedora. No VMs, no DistroBox, just DaVinci Resolve installed the way it was meant to be. Let's get to it. First things first, we need to download Resolve, obviously. So head over to the Blackmagic Design website, get yourself to the DaVinci Resolve page, free download now, make sure you click Linux, fill in all your details or nonsense as I generally do, and then get that downloading. Okay, while well, Resolve's downloading, or maybe it has downloaded if you've got super fast, speedy, speedy broadband, uh, we need to do some pre-install dependencies. So these are basically a few things that are required for Resolve to run and even install, but they're not included in Fedora by default. So I'm going to read them out and I'm going to get all of the names wrong, but I'm also going to put like a little screenshot to them over that way uh, from a cool website that I found called Linux from scratch. And uh, it's a really cool website. See any of these things, like I find the guides, they'll sometimes just say, do this, do this, do this. And they don't really tell you what any of it is. So this website lets you search for those um, like little bits of commands or names of different things. And it'll tell you what they are. It's pretty cool. So I'll link that down below in the description. So the first one will be the, it's called APR and it's the Apache Portable Runtime. It's API Util, which is the Apache Portable Runtime Utility Library. There is Mesa LibGlue, which is the Mesa OpenGL Utility Library. And then LibExcript Combat, which is a password, password. Password hashing library that's so good it won't even let me say it properly. Like I said, I'll link down below a website which will tell you what all of those things are if you want to check them out before you do it. We're going to fix this in the console. So there's going to be a little bit of console work in this today. It's not much. I know I always say like I do most things in the just in like a standard GUI. There are times when you need to come in the console, and, and this is one of those times. And all of these console commands I will put in order in the description as well. So you can just copy and paste them if you want to. Uh, I've enlarged the font in the terminal, so hopefully it's going to be uh, easy to see. And for these, this is going to be one line to install them all. So you can see there are all the ones I listed out. They will install for you as normal for me. And you may have some as well that are already installed, depending on what you've done before. But for me, they're already installed. So I'm going to run it. It will let me run it, but it's going to say nothing to do because they're already there. So let's get this going. So there you go. They're already installed for me. So, but for you, it'll bring a thing up and it'll sort of uh, it'll make a few more lines. It'll ask you if it's okay. It'll say what it's going to do. You just press yes and off you go. That's it. Dependency done. Okay, you can close the previous terminal. You can keep it open if you know what you're doing, but this to me is just the easiest way. Close the previous terminal, and now you're going to go to your downloads folder where you, wherever you've downloaded Resolve to. And we're going to extract. You can delete the archive. You don't need to keep it. So I'll extract that through. Done. And we're going to go into this folder. Now, the first thing we need to do is make this run file executable. You can do it in the console. There's a little console command for it, which is chirpmod plus x and then the name of the file, or you can come into permissions here and press allow executing file as program. In this case, it's already done. So all good for, for us here. So if I do open terminal here, it's basically going to open a terminal window and it's going to be based in this folder. Okay, so the reason we need to use the terminal here instead of just running the file is the installer does some like pre-checks for packages that it needs or thinks it needs, but it's one that it absolutely doesn't need. It's deprecated in Fedora now, so you can't have it. It's called Zlib. Um, so we're going to basically do a command that's going to say skip that check. So I'm just going to copy this because I have it to one side. So the I will put this in the description. The file name will change for you if your file name isn't DaVinci Resolve 20.0.1 Linux. But that's what we're going to do. Now, I actually don't know what this is going to do. I didn't test it before because I've already got this installed. So maybe I could just run it as a repair. Let's see what it does. Aha, so it's brought it up, opened up on my other screen. <laughs> Let's bring this over. So now we're in the standard installer. Uh, yeah, we'll do reinstall. Perfect. So we can just do next, 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 next. The usual stuff. Agree to sign your life away and all the stuff that we never, ever read. And then let's get it installing. All right, that's done. You'll have seen there, even though I sped it up a little bit, you'll get the pop-up a few times asking you to put in your pseudo password. It's fine, just put it in and do it. It's just resolved setting up whatever it needs. Uh, so yeah, so now we can press finish. And now the key thing here is don't open it yet. Don't open resolve yet. There's still some little bits that we need to change. So we can stay in our terminal window. And basically what we're going to do next is remove some, some files. So essentially there's some libraries that are shipped to resolved and they're out of date. Fedora doesn't like it, so we can just get rid of them. So again, I'm going to paste this into the description. There's four of these commands to run. So let's do the first one. The terminal has gone small again, hasn't it? I apologize. Let me bring this up. I thought it would persist, but it does not. So we're going to paste the first one. So you can see there, it's just going to remove all these, these 
libraries basically that's one and then we're gonna do this one and we're gonna do this one and then the last one done after that now we can close the terminal down and if i go to my desktop i should be able to load up davinci resolve Fingers crossed. No, it definitely works. I've done this quite a few times, actually. I did it in a VM just as a test, but the one, the one reason I wanted to do this on my actual desktop is I'm going to open my template up. I wanted to also show, because I'm an NVIDIA user, and a big thing with Resolve that I always hear is if you don't want it in distro box, you can have problems with CUDA and stuff like that. So if I go into my preferences here, I will have in memory and GPU. You can see here if I untick it, CUDA is available, and my NVIDIA card is available. Obviously, you need to have your NVIDIA drivers, but it's all there and it's all available and it all works just as almost as well as it does on Windows. And I say almost as well. Performance is exactly the same. There's just the issue with NVENC and AAC audio. But there's a video out before this one of mine that will show you some settings in OBS that if you want to record in good formats that gets around that and it'll go straight into Resolve, you'll be able to solve that as well. And just so you can see now, you'll be able to see that this actually works. This is my template. I've not got audio enabled, but you'll be able to see the video go through. And there it is. In fact, it might even pick up on my microphone because <laughs> I've got my speakers on still. But yeah, that runs through fine. And you can input anything, uh, anything apart from the unsupported AAC and everything stuff. And it will work completely fine. It renders completely fine. Uh, it's how I'm now using Resolve. I used to go back to a Windows dual boot just to do Resolve. I don't anymore. I don't need to. This has solved it all for me. So that's it for uh, installing. So. I hear you ask what happens when it pops up like it does every stuff and goes, there has been an update. Make sure you do an update. Uh, you just do exactly the same thing again. So you download Resolve into the folder, extract it, run the installer, and it'll do an update, delete those libraries, and then and then you're off. You, you're in exactly the same. So yeah, you have to do it every time, which is a bit of a pain. You can't just auto-update. But that's it. I used to run Resolve in DistroBox. I know some people say it's the best way to run it. It's not if you're an NVIDIA user. It absolutely is not, especially if you're an I don't know about anybody else, but definitely not if you're an NVIDIA user because the the it used to work. CUDA used to go through and you used to get your full NVIDIA GPU power. You do not at the moment. And the distro box devs are saying it's a problem with the NVIDIA drivers. NVIDIA are obviously going, it's not fit to do with us. It doesn't matter really whose fault it is or whatever it is. It just doesn't work. So this is why I've gone this route. And uh, yeah, it works really, really well. Now, for full transparency and for credit, I didn't figure this out myself because I'm quite new. There's, I found, a, after lots of Googling, I found a Reddit post, which I'm going to link in the description below where I got this from. I just slimmed the instructions down and also wanted to visualize it a bit because sometimes it can be quite overwhelming when you've got a big wall of text. But yeah, the Reddit post will be linked as well where you can see people discussing it and, and whatnot. But yeah, that's it. There's Resolve on Linux, on Fedora anyway, I'm sure. I'm saying it's Fedora. I'm sure you could do exactly the same for other distros, just obviously the commands all changing the console a little bit. But yeah, that's, that's it. So be excellent to each other, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.